Welcome back to the Anonymous Fit Toy Collectors. Dreadnought Ryan here. Hey, it is that time of the year again. We are finishing up Yojo June. We're moving into July. So happy early 4th of July for all my friends and family here in the United States. But for everybody else, San Diego Comic-Con is right around the corner. And many of the vendors who will be attending San Diego Comic-Con 2024 have been revealing what those con exclusives will be. Teasing us collectors, getting our anxiety up if we're going to be able to get a hold of any of this stuff. Uh, and then, of course, just building the excitement as we move forward. Hasbro has revealed that... I was once a man. Cobra Commander will be the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, I believe this is a great place to put this particular fig figure, excuse me, um, as it is uh, something that is actually new to the G.I. Joe line. It was not done with Real American Hero or through the modern series. It is an awesome looking figure. You can see where a lot of the tooling has went for this particular year's uh, figure waves with some of these exclusives. Uh, as well as with Nemesis Enforcer. But I think, again, this is a great place to put this particular figure. It's going to come loaded with a decent amount of accessories, uh, cool little items you get, of course. Cobra Commander, as he's changing into a snake, as he was exposed once again to those deadly spores by Globulus, you get, of course, the little snakeling uh, that you can wrap around Roadblock to reenact that great scene from the movie. Uh, you'll also get the faceplate as it did fall off, and you can see what the inside of Cobra Commander's faceplate looked like in the movie. Um, but I think this will be a very cool reveal for San Diego Comic-Con. And I hope for collectors, if you want it, you're able to get it. And if this is something that you don't really care for, or it's not your cup of tea, you can move on and just look for the stuff that you want. Uh, the figure design looks absolutely amazing. I love the elongated upper torso uh, because he is changing into a snake. The different head sculpts that you'll be able to swap on. Of course, it looks like you'll have three different sets of hands. Cobra Commander's gun and that little backpack attachment and a knife. Um, again, I'll try to get this particular figure just because of how cool it is. I don't think I'll open it. I will probably keep it just in box uh, just because I appreciate the artwork as well as just it's a con exclusive. Um, and it's something that I don't think I want to play with, but it's just cool to have. And again, Shooting the Galaxy has done some amazing picture, and, uh, you know, figure photography, different stuff like that, as we've seen in the past. And with this particular figure, he's knocked it out of the park again. Uh, the picture with Roadblock is probably my favorite. Um, and again, a great con exclusive to have. Next up, I believe that we should be able to see the Nemesis Enforcer. For any of you who are going to San Diego Comic-Con, I know that uh, Hasbro does a great job of setting up their booth, if you will. Um, so I do get, to, I do believe we will see this particular figure out of box, set up those big wings spread out, um, and just get a better feel for this particular figure. I'm happy to know that the Cobra Commander is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, and then this should be some sort of mainline release. I think if the choice between the two, uh, Nemesis Enforcer or Immortal, whatever they're calling him now, is something that probably more collectors would want than that Cobra Commander. Uh, but I can't wait to see how big this particular buck is. He looks like he's going to be a chunky boy, and I do hope they can use some of these parts on other figures down the road. With the HasLab, hopefully we'll get an update on when we can expect the Dragonfly to be released. Um, I do, again, expect you'll see this in display uh, as well as all the other vehicles for the classified line, which I think will make for a great representation of where this line is uh, at currently. But I think it's also important to understand that I believe we'll probably see what we had with the 788 fire team, and I know BMAC and Lenny had made mention of this on the last stream, uh, but I do believe that we will get some sort of two pack of the gold head steel brigade colored figures that you can use with your dragonfly as what we saw with the his tank. I think that this is a smart marketing uh, tool to use. It gets troop builders out there where you can recolor. Uh, but again, if you did not purchase a particular HasLab, it still does not stop you from being able to purchase these figures. So this, I think, will be one of those reveals that we'll get. Uh, is it some sort of Dragonfly, um, you know, support team that will be out there as well? Of course, we'll get the HasLab reveal 
probably worst kept secret. It was one that kind of surprised me, uh, but it will be the Cobra Rattler. This is an iconic vehicle, again, from the G.I. Joe Real American Hero days. It is based off the A-10 Warthog, uh, just Cobra-fied, if you will. Um, it's a great vehicle. If you had it as a kid, even when they did the modern re-release of it, it's just an absolute fun vehicle. Originally, it did come with damaged panels that you could get, a number of missiles and bombs. I hope that they continue with that as well. My predictions for the figures is what we've seen in the past. So we've seen one female figure and normally uh, two other male figures. I think with this particular item, if we're looking for some sort of ground support team, I hope that they do that as a 788 kind of build out pack, a Rattler pack, um, and more so focus on for this one, either a female gunner or some sort of paratrooper type of uh, Cobra figure that we can build out for this particular HasLab. Um, and then again, create the ground crew that you can put as like your 788 fire team, whether it could be a Tully Viper, a Techno Viper, and just maybe a regular Cobra uh, trooper or officer. But I'm excited to see what this will look like. I hope we do get at least render reveals, maybe even uh, a 3D printed model, just so we can get a better understanding of what the size of this particular vehicle will be uh, and what features will come with this particular item. And again, it's got to have that big, huge Gatling gun with some sort of action feature. Uh, the VTOL will be great as well, too. Uh, again, thank you to 3D Joe's for these pictures. But, I mean, this was a home run back in the day, and I can't wait to see what they do with it for HasLab as well. For my predictions, we didn't get some reveals for Yojo June, but I think with the change of focus for... Um, the Joe panel to get the, if you will, the prime spot for Hasbro uh, with the panels. I do think that we will see the real reveal either uh, a digital render or possibly the production sample of Road Pig. We do know that he is going to come with a pet. So the Dreadnoughts will now have Pork Belly, uh, I believe it's Yablo, and now a pet that will go with Road Pig. I know he did not come with a pet back in the day, but again, this is classified and they can change stuff up. I'm excited to see what this particular figure looks like. I hope he's on that bigger buck like what we've seen with Nemesis Enforcer. I think we'll also see Raptor. This should be a really cool figure as well, too. Uh, he will be Raptor with pet, so I would assume you'll see a bunch of different falcons or birds that will be included with him. I think they can reuse uh, the Zartan body, uh, which they've reused a number of different times, at least for the upper torso, retool some legs. Uh, but I know this is one of those figures where you either love or hate him. Um, I particularly loved Raptor. I don't know why. Um, maybe it was because of Silverhawks as a kid, uh, but he was just one of those figures that was just so ridiculous that he was cool to me. So I can't wait to see what we get with this. And then I hope we get to finally see the Action Pilot and Action Marine. We do know that the Action Marine will be a female soldier. I believe she's going to be a sniper. Uh, and I'm also hoping that the pilot has some sort of working parachute. That would be amazing if they could do that. I think it would be a fun little feature for this particular toy. And I do expect this particular line, the 60th anniversary throwback figures to continue uh, over the next couple of years for Hasbro. It seems they've done pretty well for themselves. They're great figures. It's all reuse of other figures that we've already had in the line, uh, but just with different paint applications and accessories, they look awesome. And then finally, my last prediction, um, worst kept secret, of course, is Art Wrencher should be coming to the line. So I hope to see something with her. Uh, and then I also expect to see a Night Force Falcon. Uh, we have not seen anything really for Walmart, the Night Force line, in quite a while since the Ram Cycle was reused. Um, but I'm hoping that we do get this updated Falcon with a new head sculpt. And since it will be a Night Force, hopefully if they do have the new head sculpt, we should see Falcon on some sort of retro card so that we can get something updated uh, from that first Falcon that we did have. And a big thank you to everyone. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Trying to keep it pretty quick. 2025 with some of the information that I have been uh, given looks to be an even bigger year for G.I. Joe Classified. 
Uh, I think you guys will all be pretty happy with some of the stuff as we start to find out. I think as we get to um, the 1027 event and then, of course, uh, PulseCon, you will see more and more reveals for 2025. And just looking at what's on deck, uh, I think we should all be pretty happy with what we'll see. But I hope you guys are having a great day, night, uh, lunchtime, wherever you're at on the Island of Misfit Toy Collectors. Have a great day, and yo, Joe.